Okay, so I have thought long and hard about this. Today was a long day. I got a bunch of schoolwork done. Actually, no, I should start from the beginning of the plan. A couple hours ago. It's like, Luke, I shouldn't talk in the third person. No, I, I, I will. Fuck it, who cares? Luke, if you get all that schoolwork done, you're hopping in the car, driving your ass down to New Jersey, which is, of course, the center, the hub of cleat hunting in, well, my, my region at least. Park in your car in a Burlington parking lot, sleeping until 7 a.m., and get in there before the resellers. I think I'm gonna do it. I, th I think, yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna do it. It's like three and a half hours, which get there by four, sleep in the whip, wake up at seven. Should I do it? I don't know if I should do it. We're going to Jersey! I'm in the wrong lane! See, that, that is an artistic shot right there. Oh no, oh my god. Oh. All right, it's a ways past 2 a.m. The plan was to sleep in the car, but I got company, so I feel like that's in bad taste. So we stopped by a beautiful motel in East Brunswick area of Jersey. I'm gonna try to set an alarm for seven. Hopefully I'll see you then so we can get to the stores when they open yeah i'll see you i'll see you at seven yeah there's literally no chance woke up slightly past schedule it's like 10 a.m now booked this hotel kind of blind but assumed we were in burlington country and we are we are 0.5 miles away from our first store let's get it in our first store we have a couple promising things to point out first of all uh, two pairs from the neighborhood pack. Obviously, this is the Phantom Vision takedown, and then here we've got the Mercurial. There's also a lot of very obscure Umbros in here. This is the UX Acuro Pro 2. I think this is the Velocita, but I might have to look it up. It looks like a takedown in my opinion. <laughs> These ones I do actually know. It's the Velocita Pro 4. Uh, $19.99 and kind of an obscure boot to find, so that is cool. There's also a lot of these Adidas rugby boots. It reminds me a lot of an old Nitro Charge. You can see the sprint frame and SG studs. Well, it looks like the trek is paying off. Our first store in Jersey and our first pair of top end boots. It is the launch colorway of the Nike Phantom GT. This is the non-collared version, but as you can see, they have ACC. They're here for only $24.99. That is such a good start to our day. We even have a couple of nice kits worth sticking in the video. USA Training Top Retail 60 here for $19.99. Then this one's really cool. It's a Brazil Training Top, I believe. Uh, 65 Retail also here for $19.99. And then from the Mexican League, we have Deportivo Guadalajara. $19.99, Retail 90. All in all, our hunt is off to an amazing start. This store has been brutal. And then I see in a box, a top end pair of the Just Do It Pack Hyper Venom 2. Oh, now I just have to get them. The guy's restocking right now. Do I just reach in there and grab them or do I wait? I think I should just grab them. Uh oh, here comes trouble. What do we have here? Hyper Venom Phantom 2 top end. They're size 11 US and they're here for only $24.99. We ride two boots in two stores. I just went back into the men's shoe section and look at this. Blackout Tiempo Legend 7, top end, $24.99. We've also got a USA jersey, retail 90 here for 30, as well as a Poland kit for that same price. This is undeniably the best clothing item I have ever found at a Burlington. I don't know if you guys know, but Kid Super which is like a streetwear label, has done a few collaborations with Puma. Even cooler, it's a soccer line. I found this jacket right here, retail $200 for $9.99. And it's not like this collection isn't popular. A lot of that stuff sells right out and I can't even believe it, man. The hard work has paid off completely. I have been seeing a ton of people finding the top end flash crimson mercurials. This is the pro pair, here for only $19.99. And in case all that wasn't enough, there's also two pairs of the Adidas Nemesis 19.2. 
all in all, I got two of these jackets. Retail 400, here for 20 total. Tiempo Legend 7, retail 220, here for 24.99. And the Hyper Venom, retail 275, here for 24 as well. Whew. Oh my God, this is a good day. Our run of good form has continued into store number three. Not quite as good, but I'll just show you. First of all, we have the Umbral Medusa 3 Pro. These guys retailed at 150 euros. More and more Umbral stuff's been popping up. I've seen a lot of takedowns today, but this is one of the first top end pairs. Then we've also got a pair of Air Force Ones, one of my favorite lifestyle silhouettes from Nike. They're here for 49.99. Honestly, not a great price, but whenever I see these things, I like to stick them in. And then this, this is a tough one because I found these a few times before and it looks just like a Superfly. It is the Vapor 360 Elite. Again, look at them a little bit too quickly and you might think you hit the jackpot. They're here for $19.99. Even still, reselling these is like 85 bucks, so it's not bad, but it could be better. I only managed to find one kit in here as well. It's a Marseille training top, retail 60, here for 15. So yeah, the first find, the kid, no, <laughs> so if I put on my presenter voice. Were you just getting into character there? How would you describe the hunt? It was, it was fun for you. For, you <laughs> not for you, you bought so, look at this jacket you got. I do like the jacket. Yeah, by the way, I look way worse in it, but that's okay. The first pair of boots we found, first store really paid out for us. The Phantom GT Elite. What do we pay for these? Twenty four ninety nine. That's not a not a bad deal, I'd say. Twenty four ninety nine. <laughs> Holy crap! Now that's a deal. Despite often having comedically bad hunts, today's actually went really well. I ended up picking up three top end boots. It's funny. Usually I'm lucky if I get one, but I guess all that effort of jersey paid off. First of all, we had the Phantom GT Elite. These things retail at $250. I picked up my pair for 25, which is of course a really good deal. The resale is also really strong on them. They tend to sell for around 130 bucks. Then probably the surprise find of the day is the Hyper Venom Phantom 3 Elite Just Do It pack. These came out for the Russia World Cup back in 2018 and it's weird to see a boot that old at Burlington for $25. Retail on them was 275. Despite the fact that I absolutely hated the Hyper Venom 3, it's a really clean looking boot and that sole plate is to die for. Resale is a little ambiguous. I saw a pair go for $240 and I was really stoked. Then another went for 107, so it's kind of weird. Either way, it's a great deal. And lastly, the Blackout Tiempo Legend 7 Elite. Like the first two pairs, these were also 25. Retail on them is 230, and I just saw a pair go for $140 on eBay. These are three really good boots to find, and one of them could be yours. Like usual, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway on one of the boots found on today's hunt. If you wanna enter, just subscribe to the channel, like the video, follow my Instagram at Luke Gare, and comment which pair you want, as well as your Instagram handle down below. And the winner of the Phantom Visions from last week is right here. We also had that jacket too. Kid Super is a label that I really like, and this is extra special because it's a soccer jacket. I know what you're thinking, eh, it's kind of ugly, especially on me, but that's beside the point. Retail on this thing was $200, and I got it for only $10, which even by Burlington standards is really cheap. It's not often they discount higher end clothing that much. My guess is, it's pretty weird looking, so that probably limits the market for who's going to pick up a polyester tan suit coat. And finally, the Umbro stuff. I think we actually found all three of their silhouettes just in different generations. We had the Medusa 3 Pro, Velocita 4 Pro, and UX Acuro Pro 2. Retail on these things is between $150 and $180, so you'd think it's a spectacular deal, but Umbro stuff generally on the resale market is very undesirable, and I didn't see any of these pairs going for over $20. Oh crap, I almost forgot too, there's actually a bonus find in this week's hunt. We have the Nike Goalkeeper Vapor Grip 3. With ACC technology, 
This is the first decent goalie glove I've found in so long. Oh, they're a little small. Retail 120 here for $29.99. I mean, I'll be honest, they're not amazing, but I never find good goalie gloves, so the Vapor Grip 3 I thought would make a good addition to this hunt. Yeah, that was a really strong haul. I can't really believe it. Somebody commented on my last video, maybe he never finds anything because he tries too hard. And I read that at like 3 a.m. in the hotel, and I was like, crap. I, I just imagine not finding anything after driving three hours in the middle of the night down to Jersey. I also stayed in that motel too, and it was so crappy. I kept itching myself all night because I thought I had bed bugs. I probably shouldn't say that. No, I stand by it. I thought I did.